I have the privilege of speaking for Andrea, and Andrea will only will not be speaking today. Only I will. Um, first of all, we have to thank Montgomery County for doing what they have done. Kevin, Kristen, Stewart, and the many, many lawyers in the DA's office who have been diligent in bringing about this just result. Uh, I, I can't even begin to name all the people who have worked on this case. We also, and I'm doing this on behalf of myself and my uh, co-counsel, B.B. Kivitz, who um, unfortunately moved to Philadelphia and is probably stuck on the Schuylkill as we speak, uh, or she would also be here. But we also want to thank all the police officers who've dedicated themselves to this case, uh, Detective Reap, um, and Sergeant Schaefer, uh, Detective Shade, and the many others who are unnamed who all contributed to what has happened here today. But most of all, I want to express on behalf, if I can, the gratitude of so many women who admire Andrea for her courage. She came here 14 years ago for justice. I am so happy today that I can say that although justice was delayed, it was not denied. It took a lot of courage for her to come back and to do this. There are so many people who have expressed their admiration for her. The millions, and I do mean millions of people, who have admired her courage, admired her calm, admired her demeanor. And I'd ask you, bear in mind, that when something like this happens to someone, male or female, whoever, they have to work every day to be happy. Something that we all who have been fortunate in our lives and not been victimized do not have to do. And when you see Andrea, and you've all commented about how calm she is, how graceful she is, that's something that she's had to work out every day since January of 2004, probably January 6th or 7th, when this happened to her. This is a life-altering experience for any woman, any victim. And the person who I think needs to be heralded for what she has done is Andrea. 